I'm going to go ahead and apologize to the nation of Denmark for butchering this pronunciation. But the Jürgensen Romance is the delightful little piece, and I've enjoyed preparing and performing it mainly because of the melodies. They're so beautiful. These melodies are the hallmark of this work, and the repetition of those melodies is a hallmark of Jürgensen's compositional style. There's a lot of repetition and a lot of sequence in the piece, which is not a bad thing, but it means that we have to find ways to plan for that accordingly as performers so that the repetition doesn't create boredom. We have to find ways to contrast the repeated melodies so that they're recognizable, but always fresh and with something different to say. One piece of advice I often give is to make sure that the middle section of the piece keeps moving or it can easily stagnate. Also, pay attention to the wide variety of articulation markings and realize what those markings tell you and also what they don't. The most common articulation mistakes I see in this piece are misinterpretations of staccato and tenuto markings. Students almost always play the staccato notes too short when all staccato means is that the notes don't touch each other. They're lifted. And conversely, tenuto doesn't mean to play muddy and inarticulate. It just means the notes do touch each other. The emotional context of the piece is already heavily implied just by calling the work a romance. Romances through the years have come to be emotional, tender, intimate works. So it's important that you use all the tools in your toolbox to create that atmosphere.